it's no secret that gas and energy prices have skyrocketed and up until now we've been using two solar panels on the roof of our van that provides us with just enough energy to charge our phones, our laptops and a couple of lights and a petrol generator to charge our tools, occasionally some kitchen appliances and run our well pump that irrigates the food for us. But as we're developing our off-grid homestead, we increasingly use more tools and appliances that require an energy source. And with the amount of sunlight that we get in this area, solar energy can be a great and reliable source to power our homestead. Only problem is, I know nothing about electricity or how to set up anything remotely safe. So when Bluetti reached out to us offering a seemingly robust power station, that is supposedly even usable by beginners like myself with a simple plug and play system, we were of course happy to check it out, test it and review it to see whether this is a good solution for off-grid living. Today we're going to look at this portable home backup power station and test it on a variety of different tools and equipment that we use daily on the farm. In short, this power station is a rechargeable battery powered generator that allows you to convert sunlight into electricity and stores this energy in the battery, which then can be used to charge our tools and our appliances. And the system we're testing here today is a Bluetti AC500 5000 watt inverter combined with a 3072 watt hour B300S battery and four 200 watts portable and foldable solar panels. And if all of that sounds very overwhelming and unknown to you, it does to me too. This system can have a total of six of these B300S batteries to give you a total of 18,432 watt hours of stored backup power, which from what I've seen should be more than enough to power most of your appliances at home during an emergency, a power outage, or even for powering our off-grid homestead. So let's test it out. We've got a couple of different appliances and tools that we use on a regular basis. We've got a phone, laptop, manual blender, smoothie machine, electrical pie cooker, a jigsaw, circular saw, a powerful well pump, and last but not least, a washing machine. First, let's hook this thing up. Okay, so if I'm not mistaken, this goes here, this goes here, and then, Luckily that didn't happen and installing this system is pretty straightforward. To connect the inverter with the battery, they provide you with a thick black cable that you must plug on the sides to connect them together. Then there are the foldable solar panels that come provided with integrated cables that you can hook up together and simply plug into the system which then immediately starts charging it. It truly is a very simple setup, but let's hook it up and see what we can do with it. And once we've used it, check how long it will take to charge again. So let's find out. So I hope you can see this, but there is a touch screen on this system where you can find all sorts of information and the battery is currently completely full. In the manual, they recommend to not let your battery level go below 20% as this will supposedly increase its lifetime. I turned the AC on and we should be able to start using it. This phone requires approximately a whopping 5 watt to charge, which shouldn't be a challenge for the power station. Wow, that works. What about my laptop, which requires about 65 watts to charge? Too easy again, it's time to step up our game. Okay, so I just went in the garden and found a couple of vegetables that were going to turn into a soup. So 
but I want to make this into a nice and creamy pumpkin soup, which we call velouté in French. Now I have to blend the ingredients together. For that I use this tool that requires 800 watts, which is quite a big jump from our laptop at 65 watts. Okay, everything is cooked and ready to be mixed. That actually worked out really well. Bon appétit. That's hot, but good. And whilst we're in the kitchen, let's try out some more stuff. This right here is a blending machine that can also cook at the same time. At a whopping 1500 watts, it requires quite a bit of energy to run. So let's try it out. I'm just going to put some fresh spinach with kale, bananas and some water. That turned out really nice. If you haven't tried this mix yet, you're missing out. And whilst we're enjoying the smoothie, I'm going to prepare dinner. And for that, I'm going to use this pie cooking tool that requires 1800 watt power. Let's see if it starts. It's time for me to put the ingredients in here and bake a nice leek pie. Let the cooking begin. And whilst we're waiting for the pie, it's time to test out some other tools. As we're developing our homestead, we're building all sorts of things and often use many different tools. And I wanna see if we can easily run our jigsaw and our circular saw. This jigsaw requires 650 watts to run and together with the machine we use to cook the pie, we'll be using a total of 2450 watts. That went smooth. Let's try the circular saw, which is much more powerful than the jigsaw. And whilst the pie is still cooking at the same time, we're going to be using about 3300 watts total. Man, this is awesome. It truly is a powerful station and I'm curious how it's going with the pie. So let's have a look. Oh wow, that turned out quite nice. Looking forward to eating that. But whilst we're waiting for the pie to cool down, I've hooked up the solar panels to the power station to completely charge it before we're going to test it on our well pump and our new washing machine. All right, I feel much better after that. And it's time for us to do the biggest test that we've done so far. In the past, we actually had to go to town to do our laundry, which is not very great. But with this power station, we should be able to get our laundry done at home. The only thing is we need to both run the well pump that requires about 1300 watts to run and needs up to 3900 watts to get started. And the washing machine that takes about 730 watts per hour. So that's quite a stretch. But let's find out if it works. All right, so the well pump is now running and it's time to start the washing machine. Okay, so that seems to work. Now we'll just have to wait and see if it will be able to finish the cycle.
We're now an hour further and laundry has finished. That is so awesome. It's incredible what the power station is capable of as we're able to now use most of the tools here on the farm. And it's definitely a good alternative to the petrol generator that we've been using up until now. I like how this system is compact, portable, and that it comes with a simple plug and play feature, which allows even complete beginners like myself to use it. It's great as a home backup power station or even for everyday life on an off-grid homestead. And if you consider getting a similar system set up, make sure to check out the link in the description box below. Or if you're currently still looking for land, make sure to watch this video in which I go over important considerations when buying land for your off-grid homestead. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.